On December 24, 2025, Russia achieved an important step in its maritime and energy industries with the commissioning of its first domestically constructed liquefied natural gas supertanker named Alexei Kosygin. The vessel was built at the Zvezda shipbuilding complex in Primorsky Krai in Russia's Far East and was formally delivered to Sovkomflot, Russia's leading state-owned shipping corporation. This delivery signifies Russia's first independent construction of a liquefied natural gas carrier of this magnitude and complexity, specifically engineered for challenging Arctic conditions. The vessel is named in honor of Alexei Nikolaevich Kosygin, who lived from 1904 to 1980, a prominent Soviet statesman of the post-war period and former chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Soviet Union. Kosygin was closely linked to industrial advancement, economic modernization, and strategic infrastructure planning, making his name especially symbolic for a ship representing Russia's technological self-sufficiency in energy logistics. With the commissioning of the Alexei Kosygin, Russia enters a new phase in Arctic shipping and liquefied natural gas transportation. The project demonstrates the country's ability to sustain large-scale energy exports despite geopolitical pressure and supply chain constraints. The Alexei Kosygin is a liquefied natural gas carrier with an overall length of 300 meters, which is approximately 984 feet. The vessel has a beam, meaning width, of nearly 49 meters, or about 161 feet, and a draft of approximately 11.7 meters, which equals about 38 feet. It has a dead weight of roughly 81,000 metric tons and can transport about 173,000 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas per voyage. Despite its immense size, the ship is operated by a crew of only 29 people, reflecting a high level of automation and modern ship management systems. One of the most important characteristics of the vessel is its ARC-7 ICE class certification. This allows the ship to operate independently in Arctic waters and break ice more than two meters thick, which is over six and a half feet, without assistance from icebreakers. This capability is essential for year-round navigation along the northern sea road, where ice conditions remain severe for most of the year. The propulsion system delivers approximately 60 megawatts of power through advanced azimuth thrusters. This setup allows the vessel to travel stern first through ice when required, a technique that significantly improves safety and efficiency in polar environments. The ship is also equipped with advanced liquefied natural gas containment systems designed to safely store cargo at temperatures close to minus 162 degrees Celsius. The Alexei Kosygin is based in St. Petersburg and operates under the Russian flag. This reinforces national control over strategically important maritime assets. For many years, Russia depended primarily on foreign shipyards, especially in South Korea and Japan, for the construction of liquefied natural gas carriers. This dependency became a serious vulnerability after the year 2022, when Western sanctions restricted Russia's access to international shipbuilding contracts. Initially, six ARC-7 ICE-class liquefied natural gas tankers were under construction for Russian projects at South Korean shipyards. These vessels were intended to support Arctic liquefied natural gas exports, but were eventually canceled by Korean authorities due to sanctions compliance. At the same time, Russia had already launched an ambitious plan to construct 15 similar vessels domestically at the Zvezda shipyard. The Alexei Kosygin was designated as the lead ship of this Russian-built series during the years 2020 and 2021. Although construction faced delays because of technology transfer issues and the need to localize certain components, the ship's completion marks a major technological breakthrough for Russia. At present, four additional liquefied natural gas carriers of the same class are in various stages of construction at Zvezda. Once completed, these ships will form the backbone of Russia's Arctic liquefied natural gas transport fleet.
To understand the importance of the Alexei Kosygin, it is useful to consider how liquefied natural gas carriers are classified by size in global shipping. Smaller vessels typically carry less than 30,000 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas and are used mainly for regional distribution. Medium-sized carriers transport between 30,000 and 125,000 cubic meters and serve short to medium distance routes. Large carriers, which form the backbone of international liquefied natural gas trade, usually carry between 125,000 and 180,000 cubic meters. Extremely large carriers exceed 180,000 cubic meters, with a few specialized ships capable of carrying more than 260,000 cubic meters. With a capacity of approximately 173,000 cubic meters, the Alexei Kosygin clearly falls into the large liquefied natural gas carrier category. This places it squarely within the global standard for long-distance liquefied natural gas transportation. Most modern export projects around the world rely on ships of this size because they balance cargo efficiency, port compatibility, and operational flexibility. Although the Alexei Kusigan is not the largest liquefied natural gas carrier ever constructed, its capacity matches that of most vessels currently active in international trade. In practical terms, this means the ship is fully competitive with global counterparts and can serve major markets in Europe and Asia without limitation. Globally, liquefied natural gas shipping has long been dominated by a small group of highly specialized shipbuilding nations. South Korea has led the market for decades, producing the majority of the world's liquefied natural gas carriers, followed by Japan and, more recently, China. South Korean shipyards pioneered many of the technologies used in modern liquefied natural gas shipping, including advanced membrane containment systems and ice-capable hull designs. Japanese shipbuilders played a key role in the early development of liquefied natural gas carriers, while Chinese shipyards have rapidly expanded their expertise over the past 10 years and are now producing large vessels at an increasing pace. Most liquefied natural gas carriers worldwide operate in a size range similar to that of the Alexei Kosygin. This confirms that Russia's first domestically built liquefied natural gas tanker is not an experimental prototype, but a fully standard vessel by global benchmarks. Its Arctic ice class capability, however, gives it a distinct advantage over many conventional carriers. Only a small number of liquefied natural gas carriers in the world are capable of independent Arctic navigation. In this respect, the Alexei Kasigan belongs to a rare group of polar-capable ships designed for uninterrupted year-round Arctic operations. The delivery of the Alexei Kosygin carries strategic importance far beyond shipbuilding alone. The Northern Sea Road offers a much shorter path between Russia's Arctic liquefied natural gas terminals and Asian markets compared with Southern routes through the Suez Canal. However, this route is viable only for ice-class vessels able to withstand extreme Arctic conditions. The Alexei Kosygin enables reliable, continuous shipments along this corridor, reducing travel time and logistical risk. Liquefied natural gas exports are a core element of Russia's long-term energy strategy, particularly as pipeline gas markets face growing political and economic uncertainty. Owning and operating domestically built carriers ensures that export logistics remain under Russian control, lowering exposure to foreign pressure or contract disruption. Constructing a vessel of this scale requires advanced expertise in metallurgy, cryogenic engineering, propulsion, automation, and safety systems. The successful completion of the Alexei Kasigin shows that Russian industry has made substantial progress in mastering these complex technologies. This expertise will benefit not only civilian shipbuilding, but also broader industrial and technological development. The project was not without difficulties. Restrictions on foreign equipment, software, and technical support forced Russian engineers to redesign systems and localize production. Components once sourced from Western suppliers 
had to be replaced with domestic or alternative solutions, extending development timelines. At the same time, these challenges accelerated Russia's push toward homegrown technologies and alternative supply chains. In this sense, the Alexei Kosygin is more than a ship. It is a demonstration of resilience and adaptation under pressure. The Alexei Kosygin represents only the beginning of this effort. With several sister ships already under construction, Russia aims to field a self-sufficient fleet capable of supporting Arctic liquefied natural gas exports for decades. These vessels will play a central role in projects such as Arctic liquefied natural gas II and future developments along the northern coastline. As climate change continues to reshape Arctic navigation and global energy markets evolve, Russia's ability to independently design, build, and operate liquefied natural gas carriers provides a strategic advantage held by very few countries. The commissioning of the Alexei Kosygin on December 24, 2025, marks a defining moment for Russia's maritime and energy sectors. With a length of 300 meters and the ability to carry 173,000 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas through dense Arctic ice, the vessel ranks among the world's leading liquefied natural gas carriers. More than a ship, the Alexei Kosygin symbolizes Russia's determination to retain control over its energy exports, strengthen domestic industry, and secure a lasting presence in the Arctic in an increasingly geopolitically driven energy landscape. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.